Okay, we are at uh, Gorgeous State Park here in Transylvania County, North Carolina. And we are at site 27. 27. And we are going to take a day hike to, which hike is that? Rainbow Falls and... Here, open up the map. Let's look at it on the map. But while she's opening up the map, well, you got it ready? I got it ready. Let's see. Put it on the table here. We're going to... We're going to Rainbow Falls and Turtleback Falls. All right. This is where we are at, right here. And we are going to a very, very short little ride to where we enter at the trailhead and it's a mile and a half hike to these falls here there's rainbow trail rainbow falls trail and turtleback falls so we're going to hike those and then we're going to come back and then we're going to go to the visitor center and so um they uh there's other waterfalls on the here upper bear wallow falls yeah yeah, so there's there's um there's several different falls on here. So we're just gonna do that one. That's gonna be a three miler. And uh but other than that, we got the day pack ready, got my my camelback bladder inside of it, and I got an extra bottle of water in it because Sandra does not like the taste of the water bladder. Mm -mm. We got some snacks in there, got our trekking pole. Trekking pole. Sandra's got hers. This is the second time that she'll be using that, and she's gotten some experience from the Stone Mountain um, hike that we did to the summit. And of course, I've got mine, and these are black diamond. These are black diamond trekking poles. And the type that I have has a little shock absorber on it. And so I'm not sure if it really does anything much, but it does give a little bit. And so, uh, but other than that, these are outstanding trekking poles. And so I don't leave home without it whenever I'm hiking or backpacking. And uh, they are definitely like having extensions to your arms or like having extra legs. And so definitely for safety and you can use them as a weapon because we are in bear country. Uh -huh. Black bears are in this area. We've already been warned and uh so other than that guys let's see what we can get ourselves into okay we decided to check out the visitor center first and this building here is quite unique and uh is in a class all by itself this is neat i guess it just kind of recycles it does sound relaxing you hear this Guess on a hot day it feel good too because you got little sprinkles that land on you. Inches now they get about 80 to 85 inches of rain a year. But check it out. 2020 they got 125.18 inches. Oh my gosh. So far this year they've got 44.32. That's not included in this month. Trace amounts wow. of snowfall. That's, a, that's incredible. 2016, 96 inches. But look at, hey, look at that. In 2018, 136 inches. Oh, wow, that's a nice. 136 inches of rain. And so, oh, here we go, Sandra. What about your buddy? Sandra got stung for the first time at Stone Mountain. She had never been stung by anything before. But she got stung by a yellow jacket. And there's, yeah. There's and the, so. On the trail was going on. Around the Rainbow Falls Trail and the various tra yellow jacket nests have been found. Visitors have been stung. So we need to really be careful around that. Gorgeous State Park is known as the Land of Waterfalls. And so they got a nice um, gift shop here. We're going to get a magnet. And, uh, but we're going to check out the little museum here. All right, that's where we're at as far as the area on North Carolina. Um, but Gorgeous State Park, well, I mean, we're here. There's Cherokee. Yeah. Yeah. And we've seen these before. 
um, some of them have them laying down. Mm -hmm. I know South Mountains yeah. has hers laying down. And I can't remember if uh, um, Lake Norman. I can't remember if theirs was laying down. But they had something like this. Okay, hold on a minute. What now? This is how much rainfall Asheville gets. Okay, this is this rainfall is Asheville gets. Charlotte. Charlotte. This is Raleigh. Raleigh. And this is them. And this is, compared to the others, this is how this area compares to rainfall. That's amazing. God, it's almighty. I, and it's not calling for any rain today. No. It says here there are at least 20 waterfalls in gorgeous state park the park is so rugged it's possible that more waterfalls await why so many because i think all the water they get yeah what well, it says this area gets about 90 inches of rainfall a year about twice as much as raleigh greensboro and charlotte all this water forms lots of streams rivers in the park the streams and the rivers create rushing, roaring waterfalls as they tumble down the super steep slopes and the cliffs of the Blue Ridge Escarpment. So it, I guess it all kind of plays in. You know, you got the rugged terrain, then you got all the, wa the rain, and so it just makes sense. Well, we ain't got to worry about this one. <laughs> Put your hand up to it. That's touch it but yeah yeah good. then you got so if we see this if we see anything that looks like that mm -hmm. a bear has been in the vicinity here's some uh, black bear facts the bear's skull and lower jaw have teeth that are adapted for eating both animal and vegetable matter hmm. uh, said, oh, this is something here we go Bears, black bears are not true hibernators. Uh, they enter a state of deep sleep or dormancy, but can still easily um, can still be easily aroused and fully alert in minutes. Mm-hmm. Black bears are excellent climbers and swimmers. They have been clocked running at speeds of 32 miles an hour, and it says the bear's feet have five toes. Each has a sharply curved claw that enables the bear to feed on various insects, grubs, and decaying logs. The uh, male bears are called boars, and the females are called sows, and the young are called cubs. They average about five to six feet in length, two to, fee, two to three feet in height on all fours. Female black bears weigh 100 to 300 pounds, and the, whale, the males weigh 100 to 600 pounds. Wow. They're mostly nocturnal animals, which means they're active at night. Now, this is what makes this area so special. It's called an escarpment. It's called an escarpment. Um, it says here, for the Cherokee, the escarpment was like a fortress. It kept out or slowed down enemies unfamiliar to the terrain or those traveling on horses or wagons. But it says that um, moist air travels to North Carolina from the Gulf of Mexico. Because the escarpment runs almost east to west, the moist air runs right into it. The escarpment forces the air higher into the atmosphere where it cools, cool air can't hold as much moisture as warm air so water condenses out of the air and falls as rain this common weather pattern is the main reason gorges receive so much rain every year about 90 inches and so um, this area it's just the, the topographical layout of the land and uh, but uh, it says here, what kind of geological process could create a giant cliff that runs all the way from Virginia to South Carolina? Geolog geologists aren't sure. 
Um, it says evidence collected in the field doesn't conclusively support the idea that it was created by fault or by rates of erosion or different kinds of rock. It is an enormous landform that may be the result of more than one geologic process. Stay tuned as they try to figure it out. Okay, Sandra and I were here this earlier today um, and we were checking out the uh, visitor center here at Gorgeous State Park. We're staying at the campground and I had inadvertently missed this. I knew that the building was like kind of a self-sustaining building and it uses less energy. Uh, there's another building like this over by the Wilkesboro Speedway. Um, there's an exit and the uh, building kind of catches its own water that it uses and um, it's a lot like this. Uh, it, uh, they call it a lead or it got a lead um, award. And so, but I'm just going to read you some of the little things about this building here that's on this kiosk. Um, it says it's the concrete out in the, the parking lot. I could definitely tell it's shaped differently, but it catches and filters rainwater, allowing it to slowly soak into the ground. Um, it has a 10,000 gallon underground cistern that collects rainwater to use for flushing the toilets and supplying the water feature, uh, supply and supplying uh, the waterfall free feature. And that's on the, the front of the building. Um, the hot water used in the building is heated by the sun and the building is heated and cooled by a super sufficient, um, super efficient geothermal heat pump system. Um, the regional materials uh, such as um, concrete blocks, building stone, cast stone, window seals, structural steel, insulated roof panels, and metal doors and frames reduce the energy needed to transport building materials to the site. Um, it is a preferred parking for fuel efficient vehicles and carpools. It is water efficient. Landscaping conserves regional water resources. Um, products that, uh, that use recyclable content uh, were chosen for the construction of this building. Um, building materials give off fewer harmful chemicals and extra insulation, special window glass and careful craftsmanship keep the inside of the building comfortable with less energy and windows let in plenty of daylight to reduce the need for electric lights. And so, um, you know, it says here that the, um, the visitor center was designed and built using the standards of the National Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, LEED, that's that L-E-E-D program. The building uses much less energy to heat, cool, and light than traditional buildings of similar size. It also contains fewer toxic chemicals. Visitor centers like these help North Carolina State Parks to meet its, its mission of conserving and protecting our state's natural resources. I think that's quite cool. And so, uh, but it, um, it won some awards and I'll say this, it is quite something to look at and to behold. And so, um, it's, I can see even more homes being built like this in the future. And so, uh, quite, in, it's, it's quite, a, it, um, ingenious. And so, you know, collecting and using that, which we already are getting, you know, like water and the sun and stuff like that and using it for energy.